AARW here, still packing up and putting stuff away. Just thought I'd have one last look at uh, my sword here with you guys. This is a sword I I got about 20 years ago. It's made of D2 die stamping steel. It's milled uh, by some sword makers in Amarillo, Texas, operating under the name of Silver Castle. Back in uh, oh my gosh. 1988 or something? Yeah. Back then, it cost me, uh, geez, it was close to $600 for this sword, which was a fortune for me because I was a broke ass at the time. But I got it, man, because I really, really had an itch to have like a real battle sword, a real battle blade, something that could actually stand up to some use. This has got some stains on it from whacking through uh, a few saplings when I first got it, being like an idiot and wanting to chop stuff up. It's got a semi-sharp edge on it uh, that I put on there myself. Um, not really period correct because you wouldn't have a sharpened edge on a sword like this. This is for crunching uh, armor into somebody's body. You smash them with this thing and it folds the armor in on them. You didn't really want an edge because it would make the blade chip and fracture and then eventually break. So you kind of wanted a smooth, almost to an edge. But I put an edge on it just because I wanted to. Full tang, obviously. It's penned. It's got a real nice rosin coated uh, cordage for the handle. Really secure grip. Nice heavy brass quillion. And uh, it's got fuller milled into it. It's really a neat piece. It's a hand and a half sword, they would say, right? And a fellow at a Renaissance fair made me a sheath for it. It's a pretty nice sheath. It looks very rustic. It's all penned. Brass brads. Stacked leather. Penned. So it's kind of cool looking. Lobby and lumpy and whatnot. And then uh, this is a sword that my wife brought back from her, visit, her adventures in Thailand. When I was first dating her, she took off for six weeks and uh, went to Thailand. Came back with a few odd little curios. This is a, pretty much just an ornamental kind of decorative sword. It's not really for uh, any kind of use. It would just fall apart. You'd just end up breaking everything. The blade, I don't even think the blade's necessarily tempered or anything like that. It's just a piece of metal that they cut out and ground out. I don't think it's been forged or anything exotic like that. It's, it's got a, a pleasant shape to it. So, I mean, I'm sure you could swing it a few times and do something with it, but then it would probably it would probably break up in here because I'm pretty sure this is like a threaded rod that's been welded to a piece of steel and that would break probably break like right there and it's just got some nice stamped metal stuff and the traditional Thai motifs some bells on it some beads on it nice wood scabbard it's just been dyed with what looks like India ink Nothing extravagant or amazing, just something to have a look at before I pack them up because they are they are going to disappear for quite a long time. Who knows when I'll end up unpacking this stuff. Non-critical things like this could end up in storage for a long time. I've seen it happen before. So one last look at my swords. Alright, thanks for watching.